strange name, Re. Why name, name your theatre company after a prefix or a preposition? Maybe a prefix. Anyway, it's a good name because Re, a lot, there's a lot of very good Re's like reboot, retake, remake, reignite. Lots of very positive Re's going in there. And I think your theatre group is a really positive group and a very positive artistic group. Uh, because you don't speak with the mouth, you speak with your entire bodies and with music, which is really good. You're thoroughly international, and in that way you're very tasty for lots of audience. So I say, happy anniversary, and let's have another ten years, please. Happy birthday to you, happy birthday to you. A primeira vez que eu vi o trabalho de vocês, eu pensei, como eles são bons. Mas mais do que isso, como eles são bons juntos, como aqueles corpos todos se transformavam em um corpo só em cena. Isso é maravilhoso. When I first saw a theatre re show, I had that electric feeling when you know you're watching something really special. I was completely moved. The first time I saw a theatre re production was Birth, and I was just struck by how beautiful the um, performances were and also how sadness and joy were so close together. There's a part in the production where um, the performers um, kind of, I don't know exactly what it was, but I think they kind of transferred, it was kind of a heart, I think something like a heart, so they kind of pulled something out of their body, turned it and passed it to the other person. And I remember just feeling this uh, kind of physical response, like the hair stood off my neck and intake of breath and just um i couldn't believe that i felt something so physical from something that was happening kind of 20 meters on stage that i was able to feel that connection from the moment um it opened the, the, the kind of the, the feel of the music and the the, the skill um in, in the in the performance um as the scene opens and as we're whisked away into this world uh, it was just a remarkable night of the theatre. I, I've never seen before such a cinematic energy on a stage live in front of me. And, and it was very powerful, but most of all, I think the best word to describe in general what theatre really does is magic. Happy birthday, theatre really. The first time I think I saw Theatre was um, at the Pleasance Queen Dome, I believe. It was The Little Soldiers, and I was completely and absolutely blown away by the beauty, the profound nature of the work and its ability to affect me, not just then and in the moment, but has stayed with me for a very, very long time, such as the, the depth, I think, and the nature of the storytelling to affect us in a way um, that is very meaningful. First time I heard of Theatre Re and of the work they do, the mime stuff, um, I thought it was insane and I didn't get it at all. And then I saw my first theatre show and I was like, oh, I get it. This is really cool. I remember seeing Theatre at the Edinburgh Festival Fringe and it was a gambler and I thought it was the most extraordinary thing I'd seen for a very long time. I remember thinking this is why I fell in love with theatre when I was a kid. The fact that they managed to make something so moving and somehow so poetic, even though it didn't technically have any dialogue. 
that was immensely sad but also left me just feeling pure joy at the end. I'd, I'd forgotten I could be moved in that way. I had this realization that the work we were making was helping me understand parts of myself as a person. Um, and that's when we were making The Nature of Forgetting. My first thought when I saw a theatre we show for the first time um, was that it was magical. It was deeply moving to see a committed group of young people working together in such imaginative ways. The first thing that struck me was the design. Um, the masks over the face instantly took me to Surrealism and Magritte, who I love. Um, and then from there, I was just, I was just taken. The music really took me away and pulled my heartstrings. The, the design and the, um, the theatricality was cinematic, but it still really grabbed you in the theater. It was so good. Wow. How can this very well articulated and meticulously designed piece pull me into the story and connect with me so strongly on an emotional level? When I first saw Theatre Ray's work, it was a video that came to me on an email and I was blown away by the beauty and power of what they were able to create with movement and no words. I remember I was dragged by the joy of it. It's the was the type of show that makes me move in the chair all the time. I either was so excited in the edge of the chair or without breath, leaning my back in the back of the chair. It was just beautiful. The only time I could come see you was immediately off the train. So I arrived with my bag to see the matinee, thinking, oh, it's going to be really depressing about dementia, etc., etc. And I was just blown away. I absolutely loved it. Came down the stairs, accosted Alex for a, a, a CD tape, can't remember what it was, and how do I speak to one of you? It blew my mind. I, I was amazed how poetic it is. Uh, and the matters that they're able to communicate with no language whatsoever is just mind-blowing. Happy birthday to you.